update success. Welcome to the HMR Mobile Tech Channel. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to do flash updates on your OBD2 scanner made by the brand Conway. So this is the scanner that I use a lot in my videos. It's the Conway KW850 model OBD2 scanner. And I'm going to show you how to do updates mainly because I couldn't find any good videos on YouTube about how to do this for Windows 10. So if you have a Windows 10, this is going to work for you. So this is the owner's manual here. And then around the last page, uh, the booklet is page 34, it's going to say update mode. And then it's going to say here what you need in order to do the update. So you need your scanner, and then you need a PC, and then you need to have a USB cable that has this older style connector, which is going to plug into the side of it here. Because I got my computer tower here underneath my home office desk, I've got the cable here, this old style USB that you'll plug in to your scanner, and I've just taken the cable off that goes to the data link to make it easier. And then, so what you'll do is you'll hold the OK button at the same time as you plug in your old style USB into the side of it here and it's really hard here being on the floor doing this so I apologize if this is uh, not going to come out too good but when you plug it in and hold the button at the same time it says update mode so then you can release now one thing that I did not do to prepare for this video is I did not go back and see the the old update version so what you can do is you can just unplug it it resets and then you could go into down here to help click on help and then a uh, tool information and then it shows the software version 2.6.6 now I think my version I bought this in 2019 was 2.58 so if I'm wrong it's all good but yeah, that's how you can tell that once you're all complete doing your updates, so this will be helpful for later on, you can go back in tool information and you can go and compare what the first software version was to the second software version and then you'll know that your scanner took the updates and everything's good to go there. Okay, I've got you here on my desktop and I'll show you how you can do this. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go here and you need to get 9-zip from the Microsoft Store. So this is for Windows 10. And I don't know what other versions it'll work for, but this is what I found that will, that worked that works on my computer. So I have Windows 10 um, 64-bit. And so once you download this 9-zip, then what you do is you go to the... Conway Uplink Upgrade, and then it shows the update steps, and it shows that there's an Uplink and a B BT Link. So if you have any of these models here, the KW210 or any of those other models that you see there, um, then this link download will be for you. Um, in my case, I have the KW850, so I'm going to use the Uplink download right here. So um, I've already copied and pasted this over here, so it brings me to here. So I only care about this download here is the Uplink RAR, but I've already got it downloaded and set up on my computer. So I'm just going to get them both, and I'm just going to show you with the, B the BT link is the one that I don't have. And so um, let me grab these downloads here. And if you if you turn off your antivirus, it'll make it easier. So I'm just going to keep keep th this file anyway. I don't know why it does it. Probably because it's uh, from China, and so it's just um, 
causing some incompatibility or some kind of a raising the flag with your antivirus that's, that's built into your computer or whatever the case is. So I'm going to go to the folders and I'm going to grab these out of there. I'm going to put them on my desktop. Okay, so I got them all here, and I don't know why it says Internet Explorer here on, on these. Um, I think it's something I messed up on or something, but it just keeps recognizing it as that. So anyway, um, as you can see here, I already have the uplink, and that is what I needed for my KW850 Conway scanner. So I'm going to go to bt link i'm going to right click and i'm going to go open with 9zip that's why you need 9zip so i'm going to open the 9zip then i click on desktop and then because that's where the file is and then i want to just click on bt link it's a rar so this is a rar zipper so it's it's unzipping this rar file and then i'm going to go to extract here so when i go to extract here I'm going to close this and then here's my BT link. Now the process I'm showing you now is going to be the same thing if you need to use uplink. So you would just instead of clicking on BT link you would click on uplink. So now I'm just going to do this and then it's just going to run through this process of do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device so you just click yes and then you're going to just go through the whole process and get a shortcut on your desktop and then install it and then click next when it says the installation wizard and then um, I'm gonna install it anyway because I, I know that it's a it, it's a um, it's a good file it's not going to damage my computer or cause any issues with with uh, bringing in uh, introducing a virus to my computer so I'm gonna finish here and then I'm gonna finish here and then I'm done and then so I've got my link okay so now remember I plugged in my scanner and it's in update mode so now what I'm gonna do is now that I have my link I can click on the one that I need which is the uplink and then it will bring this uplink blue box and it will show at the bottom internet connected and check update okay and if you look down here at the bottom it says device connected I hope you can see that device connected to COM4 okay and then what I'm gonna do is click on check update And then as you can see down here, it's showing what it's doing. So it's downloading from files from the internet. And then it's just going to kind of go through the whole process. And then it says burning ROM. So it's now it's now flashing the new updates into the Conway 850 scanner. And then so you just go through this whole process. And then now it shows that it's burning flash. So it shows 1%, so it takes quite a while to get to the end. So I'll show you once it's all done. Now it's at approximately 52%, and I've been waiting for about three to four minutes. So it looks like I'm about to finish up here. It's about 96%, and it's, I think it's probably taken about five to six minutes to do this. So then it will, you'll hear a little audible beep, and that's your scanner, and then it's going to show immediately this little uplink box that says upgrade finished. And you can just close it out, and then once you're all done with this update process, you can go back into the tool like I showed you at the very beginning of the video, and click on help, and then tool information, and then you can look at the, the new version of software update and see from the what it was at the beginning before you did it and what it was in the after and then that way you'll know for sure that it took the update so your scanner is flashed with new updates and then you'll know that it, that your scanner is good and ready to go until you need to get your new update you did a good job subscribe like and share watch some of my other videos thank you for watching I will see you next time <laughs>